This is Brian Andres from Drum Magazine, and you're watching the Afro-Caribbean Practice Pad Lesson. The focus on today's lesson is going to be a rhythm from Cuba, which is most commonly referred to as the Mambo Bell pattern, although uh, it does have history in uh, Son Montuno, which predates the Mambo. Um, it's, we're going to think of it as a two-bar phrase of eighth notes. Um, this will be example number one, and it's going to go like this. One, two, three, four. The mambo pattern does follow clave. The way I just played it in example one was in a two, three clave direction. So we're gonna go ahead and add clave to the pattern. But before we do that, I'm gonna go ahead and play the, the uh, two, three son clave on the cross stick so you can hear that for those that may not know it. It's gonna sound like this. One, two, three, four. So now that we have our clave pattern and we have our mambo pattern, you can put those together and they're going to sound like this. A one, two, three, four. All right, so example three, we're going to go ahead and add uh, of, of patterns with our feet. You can do uh, a couple of different things with your left foot. You can play half notes, you can play the two and the four. I like to play all four quarter notes, so that's what I'm gonna be doing with my left foot on the hi-hat. Bass drum in both measures, we're gonna add the bass drum on the end of two and the four. All right, so that'll be a one measure pattern that repeats. So example three is putting all of that together. It's gonna to sound just like this. One, two, a one, two, three, four. clave direction and still play that pattern we'll play a 3-2 mambo pattern now and the way you do that is example three but you start on the second measure of that phrase and now this will be example four so again we're just going to start example three on the second measure and that's going to give us an entirely different clave direction 3-2 song clave so this will be example four demonstrating how that sounds one Two, one, two, three, four. To give ourselves some more variations within our left hand, we can abandon the clave pattern and play what would be kind of a conga pattern uh, on the drum set. So to do that, we just play the two on the snare drum and the four and on the tom-tom. So we're gonna go ahead and play the mambo pattern with that, and we're thinking in terms of a two-three pattern. So the original pattern that I showed you, we're gonna keep the bass drum and the hi-hat patterns the same, our left hand is now playing the two and the four and. All right, it's gonna sound like this. One, two, uh, one, two, three, four.
Right, for those that may like a challenge, you can actually add the clave back into that pattern without changing any of the other things that we've added by adding the clave with your left foot. You can play the left foot clave on your hi-hat pedal, or what I'm going to do is play it on a cowbell that I have down there. So I'm going to keep the snare drum on the two and the tom-tom on the four and, mambo pattern in two, three, bass drum on the end of two and the four, and then I'm going to play clave with my left foot. This is example six. One, two, a one, two, three, four. <laughs> In example seven, we're going to use the clave pattern to give us a third variation for what we can do with our left hand. We're going to play a backbeat on each measure and we're going to uh, take a couple notes from the clave pattern itself to use as the backbeat. So for example, if we're thinking in terms of two, three clave, we have uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four. So I'm going to take the backbeat and put it on the three of the first measure and then on the and of two on the second. So it'll be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. All right, so that's where I'm getting that pattern from, where my backbeat falls in clave, all right? So example seven then is going to be backbeat on the snare drum on the three of the first measure and the and of two in the second. I'm going to play quarter notes on the hi-hat. My bass drum is going to play the and of two and the four in the first measure. But in the second measure on the three side of the clave, I'm going to play the and of two and then the quarter notes of three and four. Then the right hand is continuing to play the mambo pattern and we're in a two three direction. So example seven all together sounds like this. One, two, a one, two, three, four. Okay, so another cool way to do that again is to add back the clave with your left foot. Hi-hat, cowbell, however you want to do it. I'm going to play it on the cowbell. I'm going to keep everything exactly the same from example seven, but now instead of quarter notes on the hi-hat, we'll play clave. We're in a two-three direction, and this is going to be example eight. Sounds like this. One, two, one, two, three, four. Thank you for joining us at Drum Magazine. I'm Brian Andres, and you've been watching the Afro-Caribbean Practice Pad Lesson. Thank you.